One of the best parts of World of Warcraft is choosing between one of the two factions. Nothing incentivizes player vs player combat more than I'm on Team Blue and he's on Team Red. That's all we need to justify killing one another. And since I already know you read the title of this video, you know that I call Anduin Rin my king. But I am in no way telling you that Horde is a bad choice or that you're stupid for picking that side. Ironically, I spent most of my time playing for the Horde because that's the side all my real life friends chose, and playing with my friends have always been more important to me than getting what I want. This is just a video explaining my reasons for picking this faction and just a few of my opinions on why I called the Alliance my home. I still remember pretty vividly the night I played WoW for the first time. Me and my brother spent the whole week prior talking and thinking about World of Warcraft after watching an episode of Cheat. The week finally came to an end and our dad picked us up to visit him for the weekend. As usual, he took us to Best Buy so we can play Battlefield 2 on the display computers, but that's not the only thing we did this time. We picked up World of Warcraft. And as I'm thinking back on this night, I can still taste the tropical punch, smell the mini Toll House cookies, and feel the warmth and comfort of my onesie pajamas as we inserted CD after CD into the computer to install the game. We finally logged in for the first time and decided to pick Alliance. I remember wanting to make a night elf character because my ugly short ass wanted to be handsome and tall, and I remember my brother's tall handsome ass wanting to be a short and ugly dwarf for some reason. This is one of the biggest reasons why I love this faction, and it's a pretty simple one. Nostalgia. When we watched that episode of Cheat, it was from a dwarf paladin's perspective. I remember being taught about the chicken dance in Westfall, where to find little Timmy so I can buy his cat, and knowing which mobs to grind for for some pretty cool rare pets. So naturally we wanted to play that faction because we thought we already knew all of the cheats. When it comes to the leveling process in a game like World of Warcraft Classic, it's a pretty tedious and long grind. So spending all that time in environments that you enjoy and can easily immerse yourself into can keep you more interested in the game. That's why another reason why I love the Alliance is because of the starting zones from level 1 to 30. Elwyn Forest is covered in huge trees and has this peaceful and innocent vibe to it. But don't let that fool you, there are still kobolds defending their candles, royal boars infesting plantations, and a hogger ready to be raided by 40 level 1 characters. No matter what race I create, I always make it a goal of mine to run over to the human starting zone when I reach level 6 or higher. Then, once you're done with Elwyn, you have Westfall. Here, you will find a land filled with agriculture and defiant bandits who are still trying to keep their lands for themselves and out of the politics and drama. And within this zone, there is a farmhouse with a chain of mines and tunnels leading you into the private hideout of Edward Van Cleef, the leader of the defiant bandits. This is one of my favorite dungeons in the game and I get such a Goonies vibe from it. After you bring his head to Grey on Stout Mantle, you can head on over to Red Ridge Mountains. Here, you will get your first taste of orc blood and a chance of completing high level elite quests. And if you're brave enough, you can even get a tiny peek of what's to come in the late levels of the game. Then last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite areas in World of Warcraft, Duskwood. This place will give you the chills. You'll be slaying hordes of undead and Jon snowing it up by doing quests for the Night's Watch. There are tons of fun quest chains that will leave you feeling rewarded and on the edge of your computer chair. Just be careful roaming the roads because Stitches is always patrolling and he will leave you in, well, Stitches. And speaking of slaying foul unholy creatures, that leads us to the faction class of the Alliance, the Paladin. This class is the face of the Alliance, with their plate armor, big two-hand swords, and their usually great head of hair. They are the true knights of the Alliance. Now I won't go on talking about how cool paladins are because I already made a video about that, which will be linked down in the comments. But these boys fight for the Golden Lion, and I just had to throw them in here as another reason. The amount of time you're going to be spending in this game could be simplified into a few categories. Leveling, PvP, doing dungeons, raiding, working on professions, and sitting inside a city waiting for something to do. You will be spending a lot of time chilling in one of Azeroth's capitals, waiting for groups, working the auction house, visiting class and profession trainers, or maybe you're like me and your client is minimized and you're watching YouTube videos. Another big reason why I love the Alliance is Stormwind and Ironforge. 
Darnassus is okay, but I might like it more if it wasn't so out of the way. But you can't beat Stormwind's architecture. This is the city deep within the Elwyn Forest where the land of mankind do their business. And deep within the mountains of Dunmoreau is the dwarven city Ironforge. This used to be the most popular city to chill in because Black Rock Mountain is just a 45 second flight away. Both of these cities just have a cozy feeling to them, in my opinion, it never gets old to go to them for a visit. Now that I have listed so many reasons why I love the Alliance, we can finally get to the most important one. They have a better Mountain Dew flavor. I'm just kidding, well kind of, it's not important but it did taste better. Also, I totally think they should bring back these flavors for the launch of Classic WoW. Anyways guys, these have been my reasons for why I love this faction. And just remember, these are only my opinions. You may love the Horde more and have your own opinions on the matter, and that's cool too. But when I get to play Classic WoW, you know my ass is going to be picking an Alliance character because all my real life friends are too busy being mature and raising families. I'm sure I'll make a Horde character on the side when they play every now and then, but until then, I will be chilling inside of Lion's Pride Inn. As always, remember to like the video if you liked it, or thumbs down if you hated it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to 50 subscribers and I couldn't have done it without you guys.